Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have um, April's Allure Beauty Box. I'm a little late to the game on this, and um, but better late than ever, right? So let's check it out. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with Allure Beauty Box, it's a $15 a month subscription box and a lot of, um, and the products are really based on what Allure finds as great products, editor picks, um, what people are enjoying. So, I haven't received it for a huge amount of time. Maybe this is the third or fourth, maybe the fourth. Um, but yeah, so let's check it out. So the first thing I see is the Rahua, Rahua? I do not know if I'm saying that right. Classic conditioner and classic shampoo for lustrous, healthy hair. And what's really nice about the Lord Beauty Box is that it gives you this little magazine that tells you a little bit more about the product. Um, it says this is a sulfate, sulfate free shampoo um, that foams and uh, gets your hair clean um, and includes scalp soothing ingredients like aloe and vitamin E. And then the shampoo the conditioner um, has an addictive herbal scent. <laughs> uh, minty, which is a nice pick, you, pick me up, it says. Uh, mask level hydrating and makes my hair noticeably softer, which I blow or air dry it. Um, and these retail, the shampoo is for 34 and the conditioner is for 36. So yeah. Um, and just like so you're aware, so like in the front, this is the beauty, de um, the deputy beauty editor Elizabeth, and these are kind of all her picks. And she says these are the things that she's added to her routine and become obsessed with. Um, the next thing I see is the Stellar Brilliant Primer. I have not tried this, but it looks really, really good. A, a slightly pink tint and shimmer, uh, and you can also use it as a highlight. The retail price um, of a full size is 42. So I've never tried Stellar products. I'm excited to try this out. And again, it's a really good size. Next up is the whoo, almost dropped it. The Coors uh, Balancing Cream Gel Moisturizer for oily to combination skin. I'm excited to use. I love having these like kind of little moisturizers, and I really do like cream to gel ones because I think they're really nice for summer and um without feeling too weighty i'm gonna just and it smells so good that pomegranate mm, so that is very exciting and um that retails full uh, for a full size is 34 dollars next up i'm really excited for this and this is the nude sticks lip and cheek balm in the color j mama i'm gonna try and open it and kind of see what color it is let's go and swatch it it's definitely not like a matte. It might be a little bit light for me, but it's a shiny, um, kind of dusty rose mauve pink color. But um, the reason why it's also not matte is because you can use it as um, a cheek or a lip um, product. And those are really nice, especially like to travel with because you don't need, if you like the color, you don't need to bring too many other things. Um, this can double and it feels really moisturizing and, um, I just blended it out. It blends out really nicely, but it does feel a little bit sticky. So I, I, I would have to play around. I'm just like throwing things. I would have to play around with this to kind of see how it actually feels on my cheeks. Okay, and last but not least, and I had seen this on, I think it was either Instagram, about a spoiler for this, and it's the, the original makeup eraser. You guys, I kind of expected a full size. Now, Allure doesn't always claim to do full size, but they do have a lot of full size deluxe size samples, but this is a bit of a disappointment because... I'm gonna pull it out it is literally like this cut piece of the fabric like it could could it have not been like sewed or something I just it feels very cheap very like ugh. like why would I want to try this like I just want to toss it I mean I see you dropping things I mean I could even say oh I could use try this on my eyes but it just feels like all they did was cut a piece out. Um, anyway, that's a little bit annoying. And it says you can get $25, 25% off 
um, if you go to their website with the code. But you guys, like, really, really, who thought this was a good idea? Annoyed. But anyway, overall, out of all the boxes that I've had this far with the Lord, this is probably my most disappointing and least favorite. Um, I mean, I don't know. So, I mean, these are great because they're not foil packets, which is always really nice because you could get a few uses out of this. So it's good. And the moisturizer is actually a really good size. And I was really good and excited to try that. Um, again, so it's not awful. Not my most favorite. And at $15 a month, I would expect a little bit more than, say, like a Play by Sephora, Birchbox, Ipsy. And these are kind of probably just right there with it. So you know I don't know so again I would really probably do it for a few more months and then probably let it go if it doesn't seem to impress me that much longer because I feel like a lot of the stuff that I'm getting maybe I'm not using as much as other uh, boxes that I get so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have not yet please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos and I'll see you in my next one bye mm -hmm.